Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Vigor Lore. And uh, in this episode, we're going to be talking about some potential leaked weapons uh, that were sent to me. And, of course, well, if you guys saw the stream a while ago, um, some of the books and posters that are in the game. Um, before I really get into the gist of this video, uh, I just want to start off by saying, if you liked this type of content from my ch uh, on my channel, make sure you like and subscribe. It, it makes me want to make more of these videos. Um, and if uh, you want to see the content of these videos, many times I will post what I'm going to cover in these videos on my Twitter account. My Twitter account is Vigor Lore. Go f if you want to follow that, go ahead. There will be a link in the description. Also, I have a link to the Honorable Bandits Twitter account in my description. Uh, they're the one who sent me all of this information. Uh, I couldn't have really made this video without them, so another thank you to them. And um, that should be it. That should be all I have to cover, so let's get into this. So the person who did all the research behind these guns and like their names uh, is Bobo Rail. He co-manages the Vigor War channel with me uh, on Twitter. And... Uh, just a, this is just a little thank you to him. So, these are the S80s, which are medium, look like medium uh, assault rifle, uh, range assault rifles. Probably going to be using the 7.62 ammo class. Uh, they look cool, and I have no real problem with them. On the screen, there should be a picture of a real-life version of one of these. Generally, interesting, well-rounded gun, and I, I think it will make a good addition to the current like, class of weapons that are in. And it's quite interesting because the guy who took the screenshots took three screenshots of these weapons. So you, you must personally like them a lot. But um, on that note, time for the next weapon. Next weapon. Next weapons are the AK variants, which look quite interesting. Um, they're pretty much two AKs with four grips. They, I'm guessing, are just going to use the same ammo as the existing AKs, which I think is 7.62. I think most AKs still use that. And I think that's going to be interesting. Next is the G3 with the scope. Now, this interests me mainly because it could mean we are going to see the addition of attachments to weapons. Um, currently, there is no way to stick a scope on a G3. And right here is a mid-range scope on a G3. Um, attachments on weapons would be awesome. I mean, just weapon attachments in general would be awesome. Um, also, I would like to say that if, if the weapon attachments are coming, I, I, I would love to see a 16 times on a looter. Um, next we got a, uh, we got an L96A1, then we got the, um, VSS, which both are cool looking snipers, and then finally we have the MP5. Um, these three, not much to say about them, they all look pretty interesting, but uh, on to the next weapon. Then we got the FAMAS. Uh, I like the FAMAS, nice burst rifle, should be entertaining to play with, probably going to be using that, uh, those NATO 7.62s, I, th I think I'll still enjoy it, nice little burst weapon for us to uh, play around with, and uh, it looks nice, I'll say that as well, it's definitely got a nice design to it, and that's only saying from the screenshot that we currently have uh, with the weapon, but Finally, we have the weapon I was the most excited about, which is the not uh the a the the AUG nine millimeter carbine. It's quite a quite a lengthy name. The, I love AUGs and nine millimeter version. I mean, beautiful. Uh, it looks amazing, and if it's using nine millimeter ammo, like if it's using, I don't think we'll use the Makarov, but it, it'll use something interesting and. <laughs> Whatever 9mm ammo it ends up using, I don't think there is a... There, I think there's the perishables right now that are 9mm. But uh, regardless, it's going to be a cheap, fast rate of fire weapon that I, I'm looking forward to. Following that, we have a LMG. Now, we uh, Bubba Rail does not know the name of this weapon. Neither do I. Um, it's, it looks like a just standard LMG. I think it's going to be interesting when it comes out fully. LMGs are always interesting, and it has a nice bipod, which means it could be a bipod-only weapon, which wouldn't be... I wouldn't use it, but it wouldn't be a... Like, I wouldn't 
not want it either because I, I, I don't know if that makes sense. It's just it would be interesting, but I personally wouldn't use it. I, th- I can definitely see people wanting it though. But on that note, um, that's about it. Those are all the new weapons. Uh, next, I'm going to show you all the things that I found, all the wep- uh, all the books and posters and what they mean. But uh, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button the button as i said in the beginning and if you want to see more hit subscribe thank you for watching and here is everything else